and an ace pitcher is exactly what you need to make a run in the SEC and the NCAA tournament. Now, Chris, it is Easter night, so we yeah. would be repressed if we did not bring in a special guest and a special segment called Producer Picks. Producer Picks. So we got the eggs here, and there's our producer, Joey Rogers, joining us from the control room. Joey has picked some topics and has some questions, and he's going to grade who gets the points, who argues the points better, me or Chris Breeze. Spoiler alert, it's going to be me. And so we have these eggs. Joey, explain the rules. Breeze, we're going to start with you. You're going to pull out an egg. Whatever that topic is, I'll give you the debate question. You guys will go 30 seconds each. Try to sell me on your point. At the end of each debate, I'll pick a winner. Here we go. My topic is baseball. Baseball, all right, Brees' favorite sport. My favorite sport. <laughs> uh, Major League Baseball season just opened up, um, but does it still get anyone excited? Tonight's a buy or sell topic. Buy or sell, baseball is still America's national pastime. Brees, you're up first. That's easy, you're gonna buy, I know that, I'm yeah. gonna sell. Baseball, look, it's the oldest pastime, but it's being passed over by a sport that everybody cares more about. It's football, especially in the South. You're not going to go a single season where people care more about f uh, baseball than they care about football. All right, I'm going to buy. I'm not going to argue that baseball is going through a change right now. Okay. Their, their fan base going through a change. It's a longer season. Maybe they shorten that up. They're, like I said, going through a transition of what we know and where we're going. But here's the thing. Baseball is still America's pastime because you can think back, and I don't care what part of the country you're from, what your age is, what your gender is, everybody has played baseball or some version of baseball, softball, at some point in their lives. We have those memories that are enriched, that are passed down from, I, I have autographed baseball books from my grandpa that he got when he was a kid. This is, it's not just the sport, it's not just the ratings, it's the memories and everything else that are part of it. And baseball is just so enriched in our culture. Well guys, I'm gonna stick with the facts here. According to a recent Bloomberg poll, 67% of respondents said football is America's pastime. Only 28% said baseball. The rest said curling or something like that. So uh, I'm gonna give Brees the win on this one. Wrinkle, your turn. My, I'm gonna pick the green. He picked his high school colors. Westlake Demons, class Demons. of 2009. Very bad at football, and oddly enough, this is about football. Alabama football. Alabama football, in fact. Joey, what do you have for us? Well, you know what the talker is. Tua versus Jalen, yada, yada, yada. If you were Nick Saban, do you make the decision on who to start before the first game or let him test them out during the first few games? Split time. Well, I think, uh, I think it depends. If you have a guy who separates himself, you have to name him the starter if that's the obvious choice. I think what we're going to get is what we've got the last two years before last year was that we're going to go into the first game, not know, and we're going to see both guys. You think two years ago against Wisconsin, it's Cooper Bateman and Jake Coker. Then against USC, it was Blake Barnett, mm -hmm. Jalen Hurts. It was just about everybody, and that seems to work out, and I think that's the way that Saban likes to do these things. I'm on the exact same level, and Louisville, the fact that it's Louisville and they should win this game by 30-plus points, you're absolutely going to see both guys playing the game. Who's going to play garbage time may say everything. I personally feel like Tua Tungavaloa is going to distance himself towards maybe the first, second, third game of the year. When the SEC play comes, I think it's going to be Tua Tungavaloa, but I agree. I think both Jalen Hurts and Tua play the first game of the year. I'm going to say Tua starts the first game of the year, too. Bold statement. Joey? You have two quarterbacks with very different skill sets that do two very different things. I'm going to give the point to Wrinkle on this one. Let's go round three. Brees? All right. Up. All right, so we're going to go. I was juggling pink earlier, so we're just going to go for purple just yeah, for that you reason. you broke the yoke on that one. I did. I think the yoke's, yoke's broken. Okay. Purple has me going with the Masters. Oh, boy. The Masters. Right up his alleyway, too. Right up his alley. Tiger's Woods revert, returned to the event for the first time since 2015. Uh, you know, people are saying he's a betting favorite. Are Tiger's odds to wins all hype, or does he stand a betting chance? I think it's all hype. Uh, he's right now in a tie with Dustin Johnson and Rory McIlroy to be the leader right now. I don't buy that at all. I think if you put Tiger, let's say he's an 8-1, to 9-1 to odd, I think he's more of a 25-30. to 30. Short game means everything at Augusta. Yes, it's been better this year, but that has been the one hiccup he's had in his last three years trying to get back on tour. You don't bet against Tiger on <laughs> Masters weekend. That's I gotta got to go with Tiger just because I feel like, you know what, we've seen him play better. I think all the tournaments we saw him play in before, this was the one he was aiming at. He wanted to be back at 100%, 
by Augusta. So we may not have seen what he still has in the tank right now, but I, I'm just saying sometimes the storylines catch up and the year catches up to you, and I feel like what a story it would be. Tiger Woods back on top wins at the Masters. So it's one to one. Joey, who you got? Who's, who's coming home the winner? Well, I'll put it this way. Jim Nance said this week there's a big difference between challenging and winning. Tiger Woods is going to challenge. He ain't going to win. Uh, oh. Bruce gets the points. He brought facts to the table. Oh. And then I, I also uh, get collect something your prize, else, right? Bruce. Dexter? We also, we also Surprise, get something please. else. Now, you may recall from an episode a couple of weeks ago, this was used to be a Wyatt Award. I am now going to dub it the Golden Egg. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad, uh, everything about I got my, about my still, family, so can, and Chris Wrinkle. I don't really care about him.